get it. Oh guys, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum just reached its new record high. I'm also gonna be explaining to you, is Ethereum ready for takeoff? And everything that's going on and flipping and we're gonna check out the market. <laughs> giving you guys up-to-date information on the market like like I said on my last video I'm predicting a big pump from Ethereum my name is Rob the water guy here on this channel we give you up-to-date information on crypto so you can make a decision with your portfolio okay so I'm big on Ethereum and I try to give information on other coins that's similar to Ethereum because I believe that Ethereum platform is the future. It will be here 10 years from now, 20 years from now, okay? So, new news on Ethereum, okay? It reached its all-time high, okay? So, what does that mean? Uh, the Ethereum reaches its all-time high with as many deposits. It means financial institutions is buying into Ethereum, and we see an Ethereum hovering around this 25, 2600, 2400. We can expect it in Bitcoin uh, to take off with all the FUD that they've been giving us. But, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel where we give you up to date information on crypto. All right. Um, I'm a big believer in Celsius. Celsius gives the biggest return on your crypto. Okay, they pay out monthly. I got a link in the description where y'all can sit your crypto and make it make you some passive income. Okay, so BlockFi as well. BlockFi is another one that's I would grade them neck and neck. I use both of them, but BlockFi is also in the description. You can use that to make money off your crypto but you got much more of a bigger selection with celsius okay so let's get back into ethereum so why ethereum is seeing traction among financial investors okay so investors still remain bullish despite rising anxiety and that's all according to the latest survey from investopedia so a lot of data and statistics to chew on here we're joined now by Investopedia's editor-in-chief, Caleb Silver. Caleb, always great to have you with us. So as I just mentioned, investors still remain bullish. Now, according to you guys, it's about 44% that say they still are bullish. I'm curious to know how that sentiment, as you guys have been seeing, it is changing. What direction is it headed? So Caleb Silver, he states sure and it's great to be with you guys we've been surveying our newsletter reader and it's about 1.5 million folks every day since the beginning of the pandemic we've been surveying them about six weeks so 44 percent who say they're bullish that's little lower than 48 percent last month which was a record high during the pandemic so 48% would like to be bullish. We got 44% saying they're bullish. So, I'm bullish. I'm still bullish on Ethereum. And not only for this year, but for years to come. And as we see, this looks like it's a pretty good time that is having this little dip. But I think we just stagnant at this level until we get enough investors, like we say. So, in this one, guys, it got 1% of Bitcoin circling supply is wrapped on Ethereum. So, this is just more bullish news that the total number of wrapped Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain is now more than 187,610, reporting over 1% of Bitcoin circulating supply. So, for the uninitiated and wrapped token is a tokenized version of another digital asset it is pegged to the value of the underlying asset it represents. One Bitcoin is equivalent to one WBTC. The ingenuity of a wrap token is that it allows an asset to live on a blockchain that it wasn't initially issued on. 
In this case, Wrap Bitcoin is being hosted on an Ethereum blockchain. So Wrap Bitcoin was one of the first projects to issue an ERC20 token that is pegged to Bitcoin on a one-to-one -one ratio. It was launched on January 2019 as a partnership between BitGo, Kyber, and Ren. Data on Etherscan revealed that there are now over 187,000 WBTC tokens on Ethereum valued over $6.5 billion at the current market prices. So with Bitcoin current circulating supply of 18 million seven hundred and thirty one thousand three hundred and six about one percent of that flagship crypto has been wrapped on ethereum one one why on why investors may be converting their bitcoin to wbtc doing so allows the asset to function as an erc20 token that can be used across several ethereum based d5 protocols so Good to know that you can have your Bitcoin, have it with a wrapped, and then you can use it for like all the other stuff that Ethereum is used for. So this is very, very, very good news for Ethereum because it's like, man, even that Bitcoin is 1% of that is Ethereum, okay? So let's look at the market and see what's going on. So. The top coin we got performing is Wazirx, WRX. And then we got Chili's right below that at 10%. Bitcoin Gold went at 6%. Terra is at 4%. Um, Neo. We got Polkadot at 1%. Celsius Network at 0.7. Bitcoin. We got Bitcoin up there, all right? And let's look at... The ones that didn't do so well. Internet computer. We got Thorchain, Compound, Ave. Internet computer is at 17%. Ouch. So let's take a look at just what Bitcoin is and what we expect. And we'll take a look at Ethereum. So as we can see, Bitcoin 36.7 right now, not doing bad at all. Okay. Um, we're right here. We're 36.7. Okay. So, I mean, everything is looking pretty good for Bitcoin. Okay. So we can't really come. I mean, it's at 36.7. It's trending. Um, so that's a good thing. All right, so let's check out Ethereum here. Ethereum now went into the 2400 zones, all right? So, still looks like it's trending up, okay, from 24, down that little loop. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the flipping and happening, and everybody's talking about a flipping and where Bitcoin will overtake Ethereum as the number one cryptocurrency so when that takes place i think ethan will like double or something with all of these investors talking about getting in it wouldn't surprise me if one day you know we go from 25 to like 45 to 5,000, even two days however long it takes but we just see that this coming okay with a lot of people getting into ethan all right so Guys, that's it for the channel, all right? Make sure you invest smart in...